Checkoff funding from the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board is just critical for the research activities that we have here in the College of Agriculture and Technology at Arkansas State University. The fellowship programs that are offered through the checkoff funds are our premier fellowships in the College of Agriculture and Technology and it helps us recruit and retain the best and brightest students that uh, come to study here. As we move toward 9 billion people by 2050, uh, I think that the research components that are coming through the checkoff funds are so critical for us to maintain our leadership role. We're excited about the opportunities that we give our students, not only from an educational standpoint with classes that are relevant for not only Delta agriculture, but uh, the other parts of the state as well, as far as the hills, hill country where we have uh, a lot of cattle and livestock agriculture. But we're looking to be uh, provide hands-on learning skills for those. So we have a teaching farm that is just right here across the road from the campus that provides our students the opportunity to gain hands-on skills, whether it be in the plant and soil science area, uh, livestock areas, uh, so a great working laboratory. And those are things that are so critical today for students that are coming out of a college experience. We're also excited about the partnerships that we hold with the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. We have numerous faculty here that hold joint appointments, and this gives them a great opportunity to extend their research profile it, and it provides a great partnership for Arkansas State University and the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. A new partnership that is just formed is the USDA ARS Delta Water Management Research Unit that is located in the Arkansas Bioscience Institute. Uh, a number of our graduate students are working with scientists in that area as well, providing great uh, research opportunities in the area of water quality and water quantity, which are critical areas in Delta agricultural production. We have quite a range of, of projects that we're working on that involve soybean. Uh, we have a phosphorus index uh, study that we've been working on. Uh, we are doing some work on the soybean breeding lines that uh, we're doing in conjunction with the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. And most recently, we've uh, submitted a proposal that looks at a soybean uh, androgenesis uh, system, a proof of concept. So we're really excited about the activities that are going on at Arkansas State University and the College of Agriculture and Technology. Of course, we have uh, Justin Klepechka that is doing his work looking at uh, the timing of irrigation for soybean. So Justin's work is critical as we look at conserving our water resources and still maximizing our profitability. So we're getting sustainability and profitability through this particular research project. We also had Tyler Meadows as a fellow for the Arkansas uh, Soybean Promotion Board. And Tyler's work uh, looked at cover crops and how they inter interface in a soybean rotation. Dr. Steve Green and Matt Knatzer continue to provide great information for our soybean breeders throughout the state as they provide the chloride screening program. As you know, soil health is one of the emerging topics right now. As a matter of fact, uh, NRCS has recently hired two new scientists in the area of soil health in the state of Arkansas. Soybean also provides a great rotational component for our farmers, particularly here in the Delta. As we look at climate extremes that we're dealing with, you look at the drought situations that's going on in California and Texas, those have been prolonged uh, drought situations. It's so critical that we have a crop that can be moved into uh, various planting schemes and soybean uh, tends to be one of those that the farmers rely on, particularly in the Delta, because of a wide range of planting dates there. So it's one of those crops that we depend on uh, when we're not able to plant other crops uh, because of uh, weather extremes. So we are uh, excited about the opportunities that it provides in that area as well. <music>